Hey, it's Benny. We're back here with Roll and Write Revolution, checking out Under Construction. This is a new game uh, for me. It's a Roll and Write. It uses RPG dice, so as you can see, we've got a D4, a D6, a D8, a D10, a D12, and a D20. Uh, we also had some extra dice left over from the set, so I'm using those as my cubes uh, for this game. So in the rules, it mentions cubes or coins or however you want to put your uh, mark on the board there. Um, Really, you only need up to three of each for each player. This is a game that plays one to four players, so we're looking at actually a two-player game right now. Um, the four-player game isn't all that much different, neither is the three. The solo game has actually a different player sheet where you're competing against um, an AI player that's collecting dice uh, before you can get them. So the important thing with this game is the dice are assigned to the board based on their value. So this is a D1, so it sits in, or D4, so it's in the one or two spots, it's the worth one point. And then there's a three and four. So each column is going to have different abilities. And so the important thing with this game too to remember is when you are not the start player, or when it's not your, you're not the active player that turn, um, the player to that player's right is going to pick one resource from this second column where there's a dice. So in this case, they could get uh, any one resource or they could get uh, resources for up there and so they would mark them on their sheet you can circle them or you can slightly color them in and then do a big x through them when you use them so you're actually using the resources to build buildings down here and we have a nice big list of buildings over here that you can complete so this is a, a two-phase game basically uh, the active player is going to complete their turn by using up to four action points so this is first column is worth one action point then two action points and three action points after players used all four of their action points, then their turn is over, or they can bank action points. They have to use at least one, but you can store up to three for following turn. And so basically the way that works is you would cash in those um, saved cubes to take any die off the board on another player's turn before they act. It's a pretty cool way to get some neat resources that you may not have access to on your turn. So let's take a look at, real quick at a, um, a turn here. So when you take a dice, you're going to move it actually to the bottom of the sheet, and then you're going to mark the leftmost empty spot for that value, and then you're going to do the effect. So if we can get in here kind of close, the crane is, it says move one die to any other row. So I could actually take and move this die here, down here, and that would give me two glass, which would be pretty cool when I took that. Um, this one over here, move two dice to any other row, uh, one space left or right. Oh, in different rows. So I can move this one over here and actually get even more resources. That would be pretty cool. Um, so there's lots of things you can do with this game. There's a lot of moving parts. And so let's let's run through a real quick turn. Well, player one will take, um, or I'm sorry, player two gets a free resource. So we're going to take any one resource. We'll give them a... A nice cement block. So that player has a cement block. Player one is going to go ahead and take two cement with our D12. That would be worth two points. So they're going to mark their two cement, one and two. And then also take two wood. So those are now the dice that are spent, and they've taken their two turns. So they've spent two and two is four. That's the amount of AP they use this turn. We're going to go ahead and then roll these. So after the dice are spent, they're rolled and they're returned to the board, and they go back where now their new values are. The D12 didn't actually move its space, but the D20 did. Now it's in a different space where you can move one die up to two spaces up or down, or move two dice, one space each up or down. So a lot of moving parts with those, those first two. And so we did a D12 and we did a D20. So we mark our D20 and our D12. So it's our cement mixer and our excavator respectively. We didn't gain any cubes this turn. So now it's over to player two. And so player two is going to take an action. Before they take an action, player one gets a resource. Any one resource here or any or a one cement. They've already got a couple of cement. So let's go ahead and give them a glass. And then our player two is going to now select up to four action points worth of dice. They're going to go ahead and take 
the I'm going to go ahead and take the D12 for two cement, one, two cement, and then they're going to go ahead and stash those last two action points because they could be useful later. So now this player, as you can see, has two action points. This player over here still has no action points, so we're going to take our dice here and roll it again, and go back where it was. So this is how the, the turns proceed. So now after... Both players have taken dice-based actions and done their um, action points. The players can then proceed to the what's called a build phase. This is where you're spending uh, resources here to fill in buildings on the lower part of your sheet, of, of your sheet here. And this is done simultaneously so all the players can play at the same time. It may be handy to have uh, a page of buildings for every player so they can see what's what's going on and what their options are. So in this case, the player one is going to build the push and lock company. This is when built gains one point for the current level of your bulldozer. Fill in that value on this building on the hard hat. The building cannot gain any more points later in the game. So that's actually not a great thing to build right now because our bulldozer here has zero points. So that actually wouldn't be worth building. For our other player, they've got just cement. They really can't build anything right now. So as the game proceeds, again, you're going to be filling up your track. So this player picked the cement mixer also. Um, you're filling up your track, and as you get to these hard hats, if you're the first one to reach it that round, any other players who reach it that round with you are going to score three points. Any other players who reach it in the following round are going to get to score one point. Okay. And then it's four and two, and then five and three. Resources are worth um, some points at the end of the game, as well as buildings. That you've acquired as the game's progressed. So that's under construction. Looking forward to seeing you all in the comments. Um, please visit our Kickstarter page when it goes live. Uh, we're very excited to share this game with you. And then also expect another video for solo play as the game is slightly different. All right, thanks so much.